North Koreans hacked Bybit and basically they swapped the UI of the signer, the multi-sig signer. Basically fool the people on the Bybit side to sign a malicious contract that actually changes the contract logic to send funds or give them authority to handle the funds that are meant to be Bybits. And now they are in the process of laundering their money. And as a Korean myself, I'm like, yo, these guys are gonna be building nukes and, you know, doing some bad things with that money. And this kind of concerns me. But the last time they were really quite active was maybe in 2022 or 23. They did the record hacking exceeding something like $1.6 billion total throughout the whole year, but multiple hackings. And then I think they quiet down a little bit last year. And then this year in one go, they hacked. My guess is that these are state sponsored uh, hacking groups. So similar to many other things in North Korea, uh, these kids are recruited at a very young age, maybe 10, 11, 12 years old, and then maybe uh, trained by the state you know, authority.